making there's this like gap and I'll show you guys in a minute there's like this gap between two of my bookshelves and it's because there is a plug between them that I needed to be able to access and I hate the way that it looks I have decided that I'm going to make something to go between that gap so that it is covered up and then I might make like a border around each of the bookshelves so that it like consists is kind of consistent but we we will see um but I went ahead and measured it out and I need six by six inches by 70 inches and I'm gonna make granny squares because that's kind of you know like my thing is that I've been doing granny squares I've determined that I am I found this uh, crochet pattern for well it's like a, a bunch of patterns but it's for a suit sprite bag made out of ghibli granny squares and plain granny squares and so I'm gonna follow that pattern but I'm not gonna put the squares together as a bag obviously so I and I will link who made that bag down below obviously because obviously this is not my pattern how many times I'm gonna say obviously so what I'm doing right now and I'm also gonna use scrap yarn for this project because it is like a scrap project so right now I'm using these which are two different colors and I know that um this one's like a dark purple situation and this one is like a pink and purple or whatever um this is the mandala yarn by lion brand I really like this yarn it's really really soft a few of the frog bags were made out of this yarn so it's like really really soft and thin and stretchy so I'm gonna make five with this pink color and then five with the purple color um because math these are uh three by three ish and I need 20 blocks so I'm gonna make 10 plain ones and then 10 patterned ones and then I should have like a little bit of space at the bottom and I do have a pattern for a rectangle granny square or, or granny rectangle so any like space that I need from there I'll put on that so this is the current this is the current plan how am I gonna hang it on the bookshelf I don't know yet but I will figure it out. I think this is a good like quick project too because I don't like I just crunch these out in 30 minutes. Um and there's three of these so I just need to make two more and then I'll make five of the others so I could finish this today. Probably not because I don't know how complicated the other squares are going to be but yeah I just thought I would bring you guys along for this like I haven't shown anybody like a full project video so we'll see we'll see if this actually comes together as a full project video or if I just throw this footage into a vlog I don't know yet but we're giving it a go all right okay I'll check back in later friends are getting married but I'm just getting by so I'll stay up watching Moonrise Kingdom when I miss you sometimes Am I lying to myself remembering how we felt at 16? And that's the problem, not being honest with yourself This is one of the cutest things I've ever done. Ignore this. This part doesn't matter. Super cute. Fucked up my measurements. So this is actually only half the size I need it to be. I don't know what I did. I think I did one side in centimeters and one side in inches. 
inches by accident. Sorry about the sound, it's my measuring thing. But like, this is like 33, which makes sense. Six, it's six inches by 70 inches, and these are three by three blocks. When I need 20 blocks. Did I just, how many blocks did I make? I thought I needed 20. I didn't do the, I didn't do the initial measurements wrong. I'm just an idiot. I thought 20 blocks, not 20 blocks top to bottom. I'm an idiot. I was thinking, I'm so dumb. I wrote down 20 blocks. What I wasn't thinking, or what I wasn't realizing is that it's 20 blocks from top to bottom, but it'll be 40 blocks total. I need 20 of each. So like 20 of just the plain colored ones and then 20 of these guys. Um, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Basically what I just did again. Um, but this time I have more of an idea of what I'm doing, so that's good. There's one, two, three. Three versions of the soot sprites and two versions of the stars, which will work. Because for the which will work. I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. We'll get it sorted. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And I think I could switch it up. No, I couldn't. I was thinking I could switch it up so the white was on this side. But that wouldn't work because this is going to go all the way down. But either way, this is super cute. So I just need to make 20 more. <laughs> 20 more blocks and then put them together. So today I think I'm just going to focus on making the 10 more of these guys and maybe the bases of these because all the bases are the same. They're all the same like um, black and white. So like I would just need five and five of black and white and then 10 of the colored ones. Yeah, no, I can do that. That'll be fine. That'll be easy. All right. There's your project update. Bye. finished making the next 20 blocks this time last time I went ahead and made the faces on the blocks uh, for the blocks like in the pieces um, and then sewed them on then I had all the blocks like to put together this time I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the blocks together because I that way I can visually see like okay I make need to make this many so it's bright this many eyes this many stars um, in a way that like makes a little bit more sense so that's what I'm gonna be doing now is just like putting all of these together and then going from there. And this way there's no like, there won't be any that I accidentally put on backwards and have to do over again or whatever. It doesn't matter, they don't have bases yet. So that's the current plan.
this project like two weeks ago and just have not had a chance to film it. But it's done. Look at her. Beautiful. I will say, I don't know if you can see in this clip, but here maybe you can see it. I got lazy at the end. I got lazy at the end. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely should have done more and been more thorough. I still think I want to do a border around all of the bookshelves to create more of a cohesive tie-in to this. This does do a good job of hiding what I didn't want like shown and I think it's really cute. I think it's super cute. I think it would make a really cute bag even so I may do other um, blocks later on to make a bag out of maybe if I feel up to it but overall cute project great idea not my best execution i mismeasured which took me through a loop because then i had to like go in and redo the whole not redo it but like do it over again one more time um so that was a frustrating and then i also <clears throat> like i said got lazy towards the end there and didn't finish some of the soots bright's eyes and that kind of thing just because i was over it by the time i was done this is like a lot of blocks it's like 40 blocks which is a lot. Every other one is either is designed. So like 20 of them have caricatures on them or stars. And I just didn't feel like making any more than I did already. So I definitely didn't, I underestimated, I think this project. But anyway, I've never done a video where I show when I crochet something. And I definitely think that I could have done this video better. I think I have an idea of the next time I decide to do this, how I'll do it. Like, I think I'll film every time I crochet just so we can kind of get an idea of how many times I pick a project up and put it back down, how long it really takes. This project took two weeks. It should have taken less time, but I didn't have time to work on it as consistently as I thought I did. And this update is coming considerably later than when I actually finished it. I also hung it with command hooks and it's stretched up at the top, which is why it's so taut. I also had some hooks on the bookshelf from when I had fairy lights on the bookshelf and that created, um, again, more tautness. That's why it's so tight here and co covers end to end because if it wasn't actually hooked onto anything, it would just like be hanging freely and look a little bit funky. So if you were gonna do something like this, that is my recommendation, teeny tiny command hooks. I had fun though making all of it and I think that that's, that's the thing that matters is having fun. And I also now have a better idea of how I would like to do a project like this and film it for future videos. So how can I tie in crochet more into my channel? I'm working on it, I'm figuring things out. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you even have recommendations for how I can make this better for future projects, let me know. And if there's any projects you guys would be interested in watching me do, I would love to hear it. Doesn't mean I'll do it, but I would love to hear it. There are some things, some odds and ends that I do want to make, like book sleeves and book covers, and I've seen a lot of like really cute stuff on um, Instagram of those things, and I think I could do them, especially because a lot of them are granny square focused. So if you have any recommendations or you um, would just love to see me make something specifically, let me know and I, uh, I'll see what I can do. If you didn't enjoy this video, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. And, uh, bye, I guess. I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, generally about book stuff. Obviously, this was about crochet stuff, though. Um, and I do that every single week. I hope that you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I don't know if I said that already. And don't forget to take your meds, drink your water, and do something today to take care of yourselves. Okay, thanks. Bye.